Hey guys, Brad Scott here with BradScottVisuals.com and today I wanted to show you some advanced masking uh, with Perfect Photo Suite 7. Uh, this is software by On One Software and it is incredible for making masking um, kind of hair and any other fine details extremely easy compared to Photoshop. Uh, this does work as a plugin within Photoshop CS6 as well so it's pretty easy to integrate into your current workflow. So let's get started here. What I want to do with this image is basically just add a more dramatic sky to it. Um, so I'm going to choose just something a little more uh, let's, let's do like some fluffy clouds like this one and I'm just going to double click to add that to, the, um, to a layer. Add new layer and I can go ahead and just stretch this out um, need it to be sort of right over there stretch that out all the way and all the way up like so I'm going to go ahead and add that to the bottom and we have our current image so this guy is going to be right behind as we do our masking now so we're going to go over to the mask button right here and how this masking system works is basically through um, selecting different color gradients and then you're going to select which colors you'd like to keep and then select which colors you like to delete so it makes it really easy to basically just pick out um, fine detail and make sure you're not losing any detail in any of the image like getting your hair all chunky and chopped off or uh, just any of the fine detail within it, any image you're trying to make a mask out of. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and zoom in here on the image um, just so I can make it a little bit easier to make selections here and you've got these color keeper and dropper tools so I'm going to go ahead and select the keeper tool and just go around the different parts of the image where I want to keep that color and just select some of that a little bit of the wispiness in there okay. delete that one, it got a little bit of the blue there we go and then we're going to delete these sections of blue color here on the image. And I like to work with uh, different regions of the image just because you're selecting uh, similar colors basically if you're not making regions. Okay, so I'm going to start with the head and then I'll do the skin, then the shirt, and then any other part of the image that I want to get rid of. Um, so I'm just going to make it easier and just delete anything already around the image just get close to it just so the system isn't working quite so hard okay so I'm just gonna do that just go around it okay and now we're gonna go over to our magic selection tool and you can just color right over the image and as you can see, it's making a nice mask right around the hair. We're not losing any detail there at all. Even with these wispy parts of the hair, it's still keeping them in the image, okay? You can see it's all there. And what you can do with some of these sections of the hair where uh, the background was a little bit lighter in the, in the first place, we can use this chisel tool. And basically what it'll do is just chisel away some of the pixels. It's almost like a burn tool in Photoshop. You can just chisel away some of that just so it looks a little bit natural. A little bit more natural. Do that. Okay, 
And I'm just going to go and get rid of this last little bit around the head. Okay, so now we can move on to the arm right here. I'm just going to go ahead and select these colors and delete all of them. And delete the drop colors as well. And I'm going to go back to my selection tool for the keep and just select these colors that are in the hand and the arm. And then click the colors around it that I want to drop. And same system, just go right around there. And as you can see, it's making a nice clean selection around the image. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Okay. And then let's go down into the white part of the dress just so you, you can see how it's going to be able to tell the difference between these different colors of white. Okay, So go ahead and delete the keep colors and delete the drop colors again. And go back to your tools and just select right around part of the dress where you want to keep and then select the colors within the sky that you want to drop and you can just go right over it and as you can see it's kept all that detail and let's see if it'll even work with this this line right here for the kite I already deleted a little bit of it, but let's just see how close we can get to it. Okay. I'm not sure if we got close enough in there to keep it, but we'll see. Yep. Still kept it, but as you can tell, it kept a little bit of the. Uh, the particles of the other color. So if it were me, I would just kind of delete that line um, and do it that way. But as you can tell, this is a great way to really get any of the close detail. Um, little pieces like this, I'll show you how easy it is to mask it out. So just select the colors that you want to keep. Any of these dark ones and then drop these blue colors and you can just paint right over the top of the whole thing and it just gets right in between all those little pillars and stuff and I just masked that out in two seconds so I hope you like that you guys go ahead and check it out for yourself I think they have a free trial over on one software um, just Google it on one software, um, and this is the perfect mask tool. So we'll see you next time. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and look out for more tutorials. Thanks.